everyone, what about here and welcome to the Tribe Must Survive. It is a it's a settlement builder set in a Lovecraftian Stone Age uh, with some roguelike elements, which I'm very curious to see how it goes. Uh, but so I guess before we dive in too far, I should mention first and foremost, it's made by Walking Tree Games and published by Starbreeze, who are kind enough in, to reach out and sponsor this video. And of course, I should also mention that Tribe Must Survive is out now in early access on Steam. So let's just dive in and see how this goes. Whatever it is that lurks in the dark, it was about to get us. Everything happened so fast. Many were taken before we could sound the horn. The fire was our only hope. We had stocked up wood and food and everything else, but we had not prepared against the shadows within. When tension turned to carnage, we fled into the night. Aimless we ran for days through a blur of darkness and fog, death all around us. When suddenly, the fog lifted, and the light came back. At least for now. Those shadows will return. Prepare. We have to survive. It's very rough, but I adore this art style. It's... Aesthetic is one of the most, like, key parts of any game for me, and a commitment to a specific aesthetic instantly makes it more exciting for me. So, this game's actually pretty merciless. Let's skip through this. Hey, but if we, um... Okay, what do we want to start with? That's an interesting question. Uh, game's kind of merciless. Let's do a spiritual aspect and see what happens. Uh, you really cannot make mistakes here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna skip the tutorial because it lies. Well, it's not that it lies; it doesn't prioritize things exactly that well, and uh, I can and will make some mistakes here. Okay, where's the hunter's hole? Oh, we need a granary first. Granaries are expensive. Cripes! All right. Let's see if we have another lumber camp. We've got a, we've got some trees around here. I've got another one over here. That'll have to do. I just have to make sure my people don't go out into the darkness, otherwise we are hosed. If it warns me that my people are in the darkness, I need to avoid that. Also, we're going to turn this on automatically. So what the night horn is, is during nighttime my... Oh, do we want to just get another lumber camp? No. During nighttime... Wait, can I turn the fire off? For the day. Okay, cool. Yeah, we shouldn't be burning wood during the day. Oh, that's a stone pile. Well, only so much I so only so much about that that I can do at the moment. Uh let's see. What else do we have? Not much. Influence try population. I can't, I don't think I can control what my people do either, so I just have to let them go and work. I guess let's get one more lumber camp, because we need a ton of wood. We're going to need a lot of, uh, we're going to need a lot of stone, we're going to need a lot of meat. But to build anything, we need to have, okay, is it nighttime? Yes. Turn the fire back on. I'll have to micromanage. One tribe member in the dark. Uh, let's see, can I... I'm just gonna turn these off before my... My fool villagers decide to kill themselves. Okay, so they're eating. We should have enough. It's... Yeah, we only have a couple hours left. Where's a tent? That's a granary. Explore hall, that, or is a tent? Wait, what? Tent. Here we go. We're going to need one of these so my people can sleep. I'll just put it there. Nice part is they all just pile into the same tent. We'll need a second one once we have some more people. Uh, but at least this way they can get... 
some amount of rest and hopefully won't get us killed. Can I check? Yeah, the problem is it's already midday and they're still passed out. I guess they were probably exhausted going into this. Okay, there they go. Problem is we've already lost a considerable amount of the day to them just lollygagging. It's fine. I've learned and can make things work. Maybe. Okay. Ooh. Bunch of enemies. At some point I might want to think about a second hunter, but still. Uh, let's see. Spiritual aspects. So we apparently have one of these. Feeding the table. Yellow medicine ritual reduces food need based on medicine usage and people attending. Interesting. So these are... kind of a sort of tech tree perk mysticism thing. Okay. If they're still out, that must mean that they're within the um, safe range. And can still do work. Okay. That's actually really good to know. One of the things I'm going to want to build ASAP is a stone pit, but we need more... We need more resources to do so. I think I can, I think I can get the stone pit now. There we go. Because once I get stone pits, I can actually have uh, beacons. Provides light, not as much as fire, but better than nothing. We also have furnaces, and we do have an outpost fire. Protects tribe members and outposts from the darkness and reduces their fear. Uh, one per camp must be placed in the outer world. And then we'll also want to get into crop farms. What I'll probably do is switch away at least a little bit from um, lumber and try and get some, some crops down. like most people are getting a little tired. I actually kind of wish the characters uh, were still those like darkened silhouettes that they were in the cutscene. Ooh. Our hunters carry a strange animal into the camp, a dying deer whose head has been impaled by its overgrown antlers. The creature's thin fur is like ash and it has six unnaturally long legs. On its chest, there is a charred handprint where no fur grows at all. The antlers are still growing right before our eyes. While some tribe members feel uncomfortable around the creatures, the others think the antlers could be a source of power for the tribe. Place them on their... Ah. So, we can put the antlers somewhere and it'll give it a... Give us a perk. So... We gain ravenous flames, so it'll require 50% more wood, so 3 wood per hour, as opposed to 2. But it increases the radius. I don't really like the idea of the hunter's halls. Let's go for the fire. Because at least during the day, we don't need to worry about anything. And I have kind of enough to keep us going. Let's see what else do we have. So that's Nighthorn, global fire control. Oh. Oh, that's super nice. Building upgrades. Whoa, hi. Okay, so we can spend resources, but we need research points to actually get them. Flood barrier? Oh, no. Okay, turn that back on. So yeah, three per hour, but if you notice that that fire radius is so much larger. So my people can actually get some stuff done. Speaking of, where are we we're do we're doing fine on food. Oh, but I can't I can't do a tinkery yet. We need to get up to act two. Okay, what else do we have? Journeys into the outer worlds, flood barriers, stone pits, a spirit lodge. Tent we already have a granary. I guess, 
I guess I'll do the Spirit Lodge up here. And we'll get another tent. We don't need the fire on at the moment. So now I have space for more people. We have influence. Time since last riot. What? So what are these? Behavior interactions. Oh, so we can actually turn on what they're what they're up to. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave those on at the very least so I can see what they're they're specifically working on. I don't think we have any shamans or anything of the sort there. The flood barriers as a concept fascinate me. I want to check the lighting. Okay, so we can see the inner and the outer of how far they're willing to go. So what do we have in the moment? Ore mine, excavation, furnace, wood to smelt copper from raw ore, trading post, green medicine farm, yellow medicine farm, and a beacon. Well, do we want to put a beacon here? So it does use... It does use wood. A little bit. Okay, so that sleeping, sleeping. But yeah, this way they can work at night, at least to some degree. And as soon as morning runs around, we can turn everything off and we don't have to worry about keeping the fire going. So I can stockpile resources. So in that case, I guess the one thing I'm going to want to do is save up for an explorer platform so I can actually start going out and doing things. Food-wise, we're good. We don't have much for medicine. Oh, I have a seventh tribesman. They either joined us or is a kidlet that just spawned out of nowhere. So something I should worry about at some point, but not immediately. What about philosophies? Oh. Freedom, improvement, protection, and control. Okay. So do we have enough stone? We definitely have enough wood. Look at the explorer platform. I'll just put it over here. Let's see. Yeah, influence is going up, and I'm not sure how influence factors into anything. I do really like that flame set up. I wonder if we use this. I guess we need another worker for it. And we can start a new journey. Journeys into the outer world. Oh, well, we just got an eighth. I don't know where they're coming from. Either they're joining us or they're just spawning in from the ether. Now, do we have to worry about a limited amount of stone? So we will run out eventually. But yeah, I'll, I'll probably just chill for a while. Rather than anything specific. Oh, you can actually have two people mining here. Good to know. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to wait. Gather people, gather resources, and we'll start exploring soon. Because the alternative is... I explore too early, and then I get lost and confused. What's he doing? Oh, they are explorer. So they expand the fog of war. Okay. Higher the intensity of light, the faster the fear diminishes. Also by affected by the tribe's tolerance. Increase it to reduce fear. Okay. So we might want to do a, a night or two where we specifically have everybody gather around. And we crank the fire up for a little while. How many can this hold? One person. I think I'll leave it for now. But we might want to consider it later. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, 
I'm just going to turn this up. Let's see if that reduces fear. Oh. So the one immediate problem is... We might want to keep the fire on during the day for a little bit. So keeping it off during the day is good from a... Okay, 34. Yeah. Keeping, keeping it off for the day is good. Good in terms of the fact that it keeps, um, keeps the fear down. Okay, we're probably going to want another lumber camp then. Because this is actually a lot more expensive. All of a sudden. So are they... I can't select them. Okay, so around that... Around the beacon, they do actually burn less. So we got to figure out some other means of reducing fear. Unfortunately, until we get out of the arrival act, we're kind of stuck there. I mean, do we want to get a yellow medicine farm? Oh, cannot be placed here. We need mushrooms. Okay. Yeah, so we might want to just leave the fear down for a little while. Or leave the fire running for a little while. And once people have kind of lost their fear... Then we'll be in a good spot. Well, the immediate problem is, yeah, it's burning a lot of fuel. Okay. One of our woodcutters drops their axe in stunned silence. The split up bark of the trees revealed a shape that looks like an eye. Underneath the shape, the trunk is smeared with dried blood. Everyone seems uncomfortable under the eye's stare, but disagree on what should be done. Some wish to give the tree what it wants, others tell us to cut it down. So, lumber camp tree growth, or for 10 days, we burn wood faster, which is a little rough, and our spiritual aspect progress per wood burned in the fire is 10. So, like, we would actually be able to get some of these perks. Problem is we're not using them. I like the idea of sacrifice blood of the forest. Okay. So other things we're going to want is probably another tent. One tribe member is in the dark. Um. Oh, lumber camp being weird. Weird gleam. Well, they didn't die yet. Okay, Lumber Camp going to bed. I'm going to destroy that. Little expensive, but... Saved their life. And let's get a... Let's get another Lumber Camp out here.
Let's see. Might actually destroy that for the time being. Yeah, so it seems like 60%, give or take, is when my people start losing their minds. Once our fuel drops below 20, I'll have to do the... the nighttime cycling. Weird gleam. Do they all have the weird gleam? No. We don't have anybody else. So is it this guy? Yeah, I wish there was a just like straight up go hang out at the the fire for a while. Get your sanity back up to normal. Just for a bit. There we go. So what else have we found? Not much. We have a lot of trees, which is a big plus. Food is... We'll need a hunter camp. Another hunter camp probably when we crest like 14 people. But at least for the moment, we're fine. Tribe. Stability or tolerance? Oh. Okay, positive tolerance decreases fear, increases the interactions between tribe members. Negative tolerance does the opposite. Okay. So I'm going to spend some influence to increase our tolerance and lower our panic. Currently, we haven't had to worry too much about discontentment. So it hasn't been much of an issue. An eclipse will hit us in four days. Prepare. What does an eclipse do? I have no idea. Okay, and they're in the dark. So I might just end up building a, a couple of bonfires. Okay, sun no longer rises. Prepare for dark times or shadows will devour the tribe. Gotcha. Let's take a look at some of these characters. Zero fear, 30 fear, but it's dropping. Let's see, two unassigned tribe members. I think I'm just going to get couple of lumber camps because if they're unassigned we should just be um, getting as much lumber as we possibly can seems like we've got plenty of trees and that extra tree growth should make it easy and now probably just keep raising our tolerance and our other abilities so what else do we have Conflicts, cohesion, spiritual schism, disciples of the beast versus servants of the shepherd. Okay, so the bigger the population, the more we have. Fear seems to make us more cohesive. We have no factions yet. Tribe members, so we can actually see he's discontented. Seems to be mostly just a matter of... Let's see. Seems to mostly just be a matter of we need to find mushrooms. And I don't think we found any mushrooms. Whatsoever. We might want to build another explorer's lodge at some point. There we go. Here's a question. Green medicine? Green medicine farm. 
Okay, so I can build those. We just haven't found anything that synergizes with yellow. They're still being weird. I think our big issue is we need to do medicine. But yeah, if we can start doing some rituals, that'll probably solve our issues. Okay, area around the camp's been explored. Not sure where. You know, I guess I might as well check. Oh, that's a trading post. So we only have green and yellow medicine at the moment. Okay, Eclipse will hit us in two days. Prepare. Wood's been doing pretty well. Two tribe members are in the dark. That's usually a bad sign. Keep that going. It seems like the people going by the main building lose most of their fear. Let's see, what is this? Delirious. Fear from all sources. Weird gleam. I wish I could specifically tell certain characters, like, Hey, uh, just go chill for a while. Alas, I don't think I can do that. Oh, we don't know how long this eclipse is going to last. That's maybe a bit of an issue. I mean, what I'll probably do is just... Uh, activate some of the beacons near the trees and just hope I can chop. Let's see. So what do we have? Each tribe member consumes one medicine per ritual. I see. Tribe spiritual need. So we might... We might want to build another one of these. They're very expensive, though. So that might be something I work on... ...later. The tribe member in the dark. Oh. Outer Northeast. So we can actually uncover that. Kind of. Okay. Um, I swear I had a beacon up here. I guess they didn't die. I'll leave this off for a day. Yeah, discontentment. Lack of sleep. Seems to be a co common issue. And then spiritual need. Main issue is it's going to cost me 50 wood. I think it's worth it. Because we need to get enough green medicine. We need to get 15 green medicine so we can do a, a ritual. Let's see. Yeah, I have have enough fire. I'm gonna turn this on. If I check lighting. Yeah. Oh, the eclipse. Tribe member fear, loss of sunlight, chance of shadow death. Sun has disappeared and a strange mist is building up around us. The light of the fire protects us, but there's something in the dark waiting for our flame to shrink. Okay. Start Eclipse Ritual to temporarily reduce fear. I think we're kind of fine. Doesn't look like anybody's off to get medicine, though.
Oh, not enough resources. Uh oh. But yeah, I have enough resources. He almost died. Nice part is, we do have mushroom farms now. Let me check the lighting. Okay, it seems like there's kind of a safe coverage. Oh, but we don't have enough stone. Okay, yeah, do we want to do one of these? How are my people doing? 40 fear, 50 fear. Yeah, let's do a uh, eclipse ritual. I'll just turn that off for the time being. Because, yeah, how did... Did that help? That did help. I don't know if we'll be able to do another one, but we only have to... We only have to live through this for, like, another day or two. Uh, let's see. Unassigned. What do we want to do? Do we want to get a crop farm? I'll build a couple of those. Give some of my people something to do. Oh, very necessary. We have no we have no functional food. Also, you can only put the fields around them. Lucky us. Got some stuff. I think I'll do another Hunter's Hall, too. Untried members in the dark. Oh, that's where the beacon is. Okay. Fear has taken over the tribe and driven people to extreme measures. One of the tribe members is being dragged to the edge of the mist as a sacrifice to whatever lurks inside. We must give the mist what it wants. One life sacrifice to bring back the sun to save everyone. Pride member is struggling to break free, begging the others to stop. The rest are horrified by what, by what they're seeing and are attempting to intervene. So, stop this, the eclipse will pass, or food will be a, enough of a sacrifice, or... Oh, we don't have enough. Well, that sucks. We just got enough. Well, it's... Tragic, but... I, the tribe must survive. They're super dead. Are they not? How are they not dead? I have no idea. We need therapists. Tribe members in shock. Reduce fear to remove it. Fear is automatically reduced by the light. You know what? We're right at the tail end of this. Let's burn a little bit more than we normally do. If I can get a little bit more influence. We can do another fear ritual. Okay. Okay. We waited and waited for the mist to clear. Nothing has changed. The sky remains dark. Doubt slowly begins to turn to anguish. We sacrificed one of our own for nothing. And the eclipse has passed. Eclipse has been removed. Act 2 progress. Oh. Even though we survived the eclipse, we soon realized that what got us here won't get us any further. Struggling to satisfy even our most basic needs wasn't going to be enough. Survival is a race between progress and disaster, and we have to stay ahead. So, social need increase in interval. Crop farm productivity. Spiritual progress. Okay, and doubtfulness. And we can start doing tinkering. Cool. 
So let's probably leave this for a little while. Just to get my people hopefully back up. Some of them have zero fear, which is actually really nice. Discontentment, though, is a serious issue. Okay. Oh, where none of our crops, or some of our crops were growing. Oh, well, I can see again, so that's a good sign. Let's, let's turn this off entirely and get one yellow medicine farm as well. I guess I'm going to need a lot more than that. Take a look at this. I need a hundred for that one, hundred for both. Yeah, so mostly my people are pissed because they're hungry. Luckily, the deer creatures have come back in force. So we we at least have some options. But we might also starve. Okay. Well, we have crops coming in. Yeah, people people are fiending some for some food. But between the crop farms and this this amount of whatever the hell they are, we're kind of in a good spot. All we need to do now is just a Ritual. Oh. Okay, collected medicine is split between the lodges, ritual storage, and daily consumption. They consume their medicine at dawn, and the effect depends on the medicine type. Consume daily to reduce fear. Increase productivity. Okay, so I'm going to swap that to daily consumption. And we don't have red yet. And we have one shaman. So it looks like we can do a ritual. For green. Oh, but we don't want to. Green is actually pretty good. Let me take a look at some things. So tribe, we're getting there. Yeah, a number of my people are being weird, probably due to discontentment. I mean, you know what? Let's do a ritual. I want them to consume, well, yeah, maybe we just store everything for ritual, because fear hasn't been a huge issue here, whereas contentment has been a problem. Oh. Wait, did that not use a whole lot of green medicine? Oh, because we used up all of... Got it. Well, time for another ritual. I used up yellow. So it'll put us back a little bit, but we have food, we have wood. And this will solve our spiritual needs, hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. Speaking of spiritual aspect, I see. So we've made some progress on Disciples of the Beast, but not that much. I'll take it. Okay, and yeah, we have the Outer North. We'll probably want to get some more exploration at some point, too.
Fallen Explorer. Ooh. We find a dying stranger lying near our camp. Her tattered clothes are caked in mud, and the leather and strange leather coverings around her feet are soaked red. In her hand, she grasps a small copper device completely alien to us. The woman barely has enough strength to speak. She asks us to carry the lost knowledge he managed to gather at great cost. Please, the pilters cannot be lost, not after everything. Judging by her shallow breath, she won't have much to share. So, we could get refined copper works, building upgrade copper cost reduced, uh, research methods, so building up upgrade research costs, resources gained when destroying a building, or ask what happened to her. Let's go for the research methods. Let's see. Now these are all on. We don't have it burning extra, so I guess we just should be patient. Yeah, we'll need a furnace, but not immediately. Yeah, I want a tinkery, but that we don't have enough stone, nor do we have enough wood. And too many of my guys are getting weird. Spiritual need is high. Ah, shaman's not available. They're being weird. Oh, that's a problem. A lot of my people are being weird. What is with the sleep need issues? Yeah, I'm I'm struggling a little bit, mostly due to lack of food. Sleep and food need. Yeah, why are my people so sleepy? I shouldn't be having as many issues. Like, I, I guess that's, that's the big question I'm sitting on is, it feels like, um... Mm -mm. Do I just let them get grooved? I think it's, yeah. I think I only have so many options here. I'm just confused why they're sleepy. Because there's no way that I can specifically tell any of them to go to bed more often. Yeah, use Daywell at last. There's the Night Horn. We do have building upgrades, which is maybe something I should think about. Lumber camp, hunters. So, yeah, we need the tinkers, though. More stone pit workers. And more inspiration for tinkery. Oh, gosh, there's quite a lot here, actually. Crop farming, beacon, medicine for quick growth. Copper and excavation. But, yeah, we need way, way more resources than we currently have. I guess I'm going to turn this off for the time being. We haven't been... Yeah, my average fear is pretty good. Ooh. Two tribe members are preparing an offering to the gods, hoping to receive their protection. One argues the shepherd's guidance will ensure our survival, while the other says they need the strength of the beast. Shouldn't rely on gods. Okay. So... This makes two people m like the Disciples of the Beast better, two people like the Servants of the Shepherd better, and two people hate the Disciples of the Beast. I think that's kind of the same. Can I check cohesion? Because I could do... We shouldn't rely on gods. 
I'll do that. I probably should have actually fed into this schism in retrospect. Because raising my stability might have been a good idea. Eh, maybe. It seems like the contentment issues are currently solved. Currently. So what do we need? 63 stone. We're going to need another stone mine at some point. Can I even... Do we even have another one of those? No, we have not found one. Luckily, we don't need too much stone. I think the, the big issue is I wasted a bunch on... Um, on these beacons to try and save people. Which I don't know if that was necessarily a bad choice. Okay, food's starting to go back up again. And yeah, keeping this off for the day. It does raise raise fear, but not much, actually. Tolerance is kind of solving that issue. Oh, Enchanted Forest did increase their base fear. I was hoping that would be something that would go away over time. It does... I see. So if you're a lumberjack, you're more likely to be afraid. And that's never going away. Okay, gnawing regret will go away over time. So I'll keep that in mind. Okay. And yeah, do we have no unassigned members? I'm getting kind of a... Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm trying to think of how to describe this. I'm usually kind of bored by most settlement builders. Uh, there are some really good ones. Don't get me wrong. But I find a lot of them tend to be kind of... Standardized. Maybe too standardized. And maybe too easy. Whereas because this one is definitely going for more of that roguelike angle... Yeah, it's that discontentment. Okay, story about a horrible disaster is spreading amongst our people. The world would be shattered and drowned in blood. As the truth is revealed, we will all fall to madness and death, they say. Our more neurotic tribe members are falling in fear and hysteria. If we let this go on, who knows what they'll do. Medicine! Go lick some frogs. So we can actually see what other mines we have. So, I guess the big one is going to be we need to get this tinker down, finally. Oh. Tinker takes, like, zero effort, though, which is nice. I will need somebody to work it, but I don't know who. Can I see? Lumber camp, lumber camp. Well, do we want them? Sure. We don't need quite as much lumber. Oh, did I leave the fire going all, all day? I guess I did. Maybe that's fine. I'm just confused by why everybody's sleep need. Oh. Maybe the answer is they're just not sleeping well. Let's take a look at that. Tent. Hay beds. Tent sleeping time. No. Okay, requires tier two. So really we just need to get a lot of research points, which I apparently we get quite a lot of them. Yeah, I don't know why my people's sleep needs are so bad. Or even food to some degree. Because at this point, we have enough food. And... 
I suppose I could get another tent. I mean, we should. That's the ore, copper, relics, and local population. Yeah, I'm not sure. But yeah, the roguelikishness, the, the choices and the risks, flood. So the flood is a terrifying prospect that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, let's see. Stone pit. So we could get some more stone masons. This is not a bad idea. Beacon medicine, copper excavation. Requires tier two. Ah, so we're on tier one. Okay, so we don't have enough. Because the main question is, how does the flood function? I guess one way or another. We have no unassigned members. Okay. Because the flood probably is going to wipe us out. You know, no, I think we'll barely get to see the beginning. Oop. Okay. Two tribe members have gotten into a heated argument. One insists that everyone should be free to do what they want, regardless of what the tribe thinks. The other says we need to control ourselves and our fellow tribe members. Otherwise, everyone will suffer. So where is this? Philosophies. So freedom. Reduces my influence gain, but increases my tribe growth. Control increases influence gain and also better riot and panic threshold. I'm going to say control. Oop. It would help if I had the fire on. I got too distracted by the moral quandary. Oh, that was probably healthy for fear. Yeah, someone disappeared. Yeah, that's not... That was a mistake. I think we lost two people. Well. And yeah, my main, main question with the flood is, what is going to flood? Because I'm only going to have so many resources. To build walkways. Time, time to invest. Yeah, medicine quick growth. Research. Tinkery workers. Crop farm area. Okay. Let's not make the same mistake yet. Yeah. Guess let's do that. I gotta do the whole spiritual needs thing. I wonder if daily consumption also counts for spiritual needs. Why are they all going over here? Yeah, the problem is the characters that need to have their spiritual needs sated are usually the ones that don't actually do the, the ritual. Which is an issue. Okay, and then everybody's sleepy. I think that's one of the first times I've seen my entire tribe go to sleep simultaneously, for whatever reason. Okay. Oh, that's a long flood. 
It does not help when my all of my people go to sleep in the middle of the day. I kind of wish there were slets, set sleep hours. Like, hey, it's nighttime. Please sleep. So, I think the other thing we might want to do is get another crop farm. Okay, so we want... We want them to do it. Because if we are going to have to worry about flooding... Okay. If your tribe gets... Oh, your tribe gets flood. Discontentment goes up. Light building range. Light buildings inactive. Medium waters, high waters. Okay, keep the waters away. Okay, so we see where the waters are. Um, hmm. That's quite the flood. Yeah, I don't have infinite resources to spend on this. Nor do I have infinite wood. One of her members wants to let the floodwaters engulf the camp. She believes the flood to be a gift, beckoning the arrival of a new god. We, must, we mustn't resist. These lands will be a new kingdom for the god of the depths. He will keep us safe. Tolerance decreases by one. We could exile her. Yeah, let's just exile her. We don't need that many people. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how bad the flood's gonna get. Water will rise in a handful of days. Oh boy. Yeah, the big fear is... Oh. Stay out of the water. Okay. The big fear is that I'm gonna lose access to my forest. Okay, tribe member is in shock. Ooh. That's not where where I want to be. I guess I could actually just surround the whole thing. Oh good, it doesn't destroy the things that are submerged. And we just we've been losing people. All right. I think I've got to I think I'm going to stop this is spiraling out of control and I did not realize the floods would be nearly this bad. <laughs> Holy smokes, that's going to go on for at least a week. I am I don't think I'm ready for it. Okay, let's, let's chill for a bit. I think my people are losing their minds. Fear is at an all-time high. Let's do that, and let's do 50-50 here. So people start taking some, mess uh, some medicine. Ooh, I think we just need to leave the fire on. The main problem is that we uh, are not in a good position here. My people are in shock. We are running out of wood. 
Uh, the waters are rising. I've made a lot of mistakes. So, I think this is a good stopping point. The flood rises. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. That's a problem. Uh, that is... A, yeah, I'm, I, I was hoping the flood would rise from areas that I have been through, but it looks like, no, the... The flood waters will just rise to the point where um, it engulfs the camp. And will pass through these these flood barriers, too. I feel like I, I wish the flood was actually something that we could see. Like if there was a river uh, and you actually had to dam the river as opposed to it just being like, Hey, yeah, there's more water here. It's like, uh, what am I even supposed to do about that? I am now hosed. Uh, and yeah, water will rise again, and maybe it tapers off after this point, but I, I think the floods have sunk this run. But that's that's fine. It's a good stopping point. So, I guess before I go... Yeah, you probably won't su survive your first eclipse, but I did! Uh, I'm curious what happens for su successive runs. We start with some kind of perk. I'm curious to see uh, about how that, that works. Like, if you can get more perks, the further you get. Because I think that would be a good system. The other one I'd love to look into more is the medicine production. Um, namely from the perspective of... Uh, yeah, we barely did anything spiritual. Mainly just because... Ritual seems kind of hard and awkward uh, to slot in. Because it would interrupt a lot of my characters. When I needed them to be working on things. I guess let's just let this run. They're hosed. Everybody's having a panic attack and the fire's about to go out. Uh... Yeah, we're all getting soaked. Nothing about it. But everyone's having a panic attack. Well, I got to turn that off. Like, we have no choice here. But... Yep, no. There goes the fire. I know it's dark. And the grues are just going to be... Oh boy. Look at them go. Because <laughs> they won't even go get firewood. Yeah, let's just see what happens. Medium danger. Oh no, we're in extreme danger. This is... We have spirals. I always hate getting to this point. Because what are, what are we even supposed to do about this? What are they doing? Waiting to begin a ritual. Yeah, but everybody's too panicked. Running low on wood, running low on food. The floods do actually taper off, which is good. I think they they go up twice. And then that seems to kind of be the end of it. So maybe it's one of those where you just do a couple of flood barriers, or barriers around your, like, really important structures. Um, but that's it. So in the future, I'd probably put it around, frankly, the fire. But yeah, my people are too panicked uh, and disconnect, discontent to do anything about this. Nobody will chop wood. Uh, okay, and the waters rise in six hours is fine. So, I guess before we go too much further... Well, before we go too much further, I might as well get this out of the way. Uh, specifically, thank you to Walking Tree Games and Sp Starbreeze Entertainment for sponsoring this video. It's very kind of you and uh, very brutal. Stay on dry land. I guess there is a little bit. Yeah, so if I surrounded, say, my crop farm and, like, my stockpile, maybe, and then this. The main issue is just too many people uh, lost their minds immediately. What is this? Oh, yeah. Tons of people disappearing simultaneously just drove them mad. I think I'd also stay away from Enchanted Forest in the future. We need lumberjacks, and without them, we're hosed. Let's see. I'm just shocked the Grus haven't moved in at this point. Oh, well, there they go. Like, there's a slightly scuffed world where we could somehow pull out of this. Specifically by having, like, these three somehow survive. Oh, wait, no. I think one of them starved to death. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing we can do about it. Uh, but anyway, other thing I should mention is that the tribe must survive is out in early access right now. So if you want to go pick it up, it's 20 bucks on Steam. And as far as settlement builders go, it's one of the better ones. I've 
played a bunch over the years, but most don't capture me because they're kind of boring. You're just like setting up basic resource chains and then you don't have to worry about it. Fear has gotten out of hand. The tribe is falling to panic. They already did. Good luck, suckers. Death is upon us. Okay, so score was good. Do I get extra perks this time around? Nope. Perspective through terror. Panic reset. Panic's reset base ability to zero. I have no idea what that does for me. Two more members, but less food and nah. I'd probably do inherited knowledge. I'd love to actually see this have some level of meta progression. I think that would be kind of nice. Uh, so what building upgrade did we start with? Ooh, lumber camp production speed. That is a good starting perk and is probably the kind of thing I'd want in the future. But I guess with all this said, I'm probably going to leave this game on the back burner for a little while. Namely until it uh, comes out in early access or comes out of early access or maybe gets a couple of big, big updates. I think for me, the, the successive disasters feel like... Knowing what I know now, I bet I could probably have an easier time of this. Uh, may maybe. I immediately was just hit by like a wash of doubt and said, mm, maybe not. I don't, I don't know if I'd actually be able to do this. Uh, but what was I going to say about all of this? I don't know. Just a couple of updates to either smooth out the process or give me at least some more tools to push back against it. I think the main thing is putting the flood so close to me getting the tinker put me in such a bad position because I just did not have enough resources to safeguard against the floods and also just the sun lack of wood. I guess the real answer is just maybe get it to the point where we have just enough wood that we can last for a week. Uh, and you could do that like uh, you, you could actually calculate that out too now that I'm thinking about it because it would be let's say drain of two nighttime lasts four what are the hours? 21, so 3, 8 hours. So 16 wood per night times 7 is what? About 130 wood. Keeping a, a stockpile of 130 wood uh, would make stuff like the Eclipse and the Flood considerably less problematic because then it doesn't matter and we'd have to figure out how much food my people eat too. I'm assuming it's one food per day, but I don't know. Uh, the other thing, feedback perspective, I noticed a lot of my people were dissatisfied because they weren't getting enough sleep, which was odd because there was nothing stopping them from just sleeping in or getting enough sleep. And it felt like that should have only been an issue if their sleep was interrupted or if there was some kind of way of improving characters' sleep somehow. And I couldn't figure out if there was any, any means of doing so. And so it's kind of one of those where... Uh, I would love to see at least some of the needs, uh, like food and sleep, be much more forgiving in terms of like character positivity. Because yeah, if you notice, um, content to be alive, which I think they maybe lose, but uh, but if you have ample tents and ample food, the sleep need and the food need should almost even be in the negative. And also, I hope to see, like, a, a slightly better spiritual system. So, like, maybe nighttime you schedule rituals and obviously characters sleeping, eating, and whatever. You know, fulfilling their base needs right before bed. Uh, some means of, of guaranteeing that characters are doing that on their own. Rather than driving themselves insane by saying, I must continue to chop wood. And then eventually they go mad and go hang out in the darkness and then get grued. I don't know. Uh, some polish uh, will massively improve certain aspects of this game but i'm already thoroughly impressed and so uh, i'm curious to see where it goes from here but with all that said if you like this video in any way shape or form leave me a like helps more than you know and if you want to see more rad new games every single day then hit subscribe because i got tons to check out and show off but with that thanks for watching i'll see you next time